Hello everybody. I'm going to show you how to draw Botox today. Uh, we use this primarily for chronic migraine, which is 15 to 30 days per month of headache, with eight or more of those days being migraineous quality headaches. Uh, Botox is a very effective treatment for this, and it's actually a quite easy procedure that you can do in the office, uh, which gives really good results for a lot of patients. Um, so I have laid out everything that we use here. It's important to get the right amount of fluid uh, without wasting the Botox. It's a very small amount of uh, material in the bottles, but you want to utilize it all so you don't waste it. Uh, so what we have here is the things that we're going to need. We're going to need four 1cc syringes, four 30 gauge half inch needles, two vials of Botox, one bottle of normal saline, or I sometimes use 0.25% Marcane, um, depending on the patient and how much tenderness they have over the occipital nerves and uh, musculature in the, in the neck and cervicals. An 18 gauge needle or a 22 gauge needle, whatever you have, and then a 3cc syringe to draw up the fluid. So the first thing we're going to do is sterilize the top of the bottles. Okay. And then you're going to take your syringe out. You're going to put your 18 gauge or 22 gauge needle, whatever you have. And you're going to draw up the normal saline. The best way to do this is to draw it up to about 2.6 mLs. And then you're going to insert that into one of the vials of Botox. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to draw up another 2.6 mLs. Get the bubbles all out of there. And you're going to put that in the second vial of Botox. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is separate the syringe from your larger needle and you're going to put it onto one of the 1 ml syringes. So this is what you're going to use to actually draw up the Botox. So the easiest way to do this is to hold it upside down Insert it just so it's right above the, right inside the bottle there. And then you're going to draw it down. You want to get all the bubbles out of there. And I usually draw it down right to below the 1 ml, if you can see that. If you go right below there, and then when you inject the air out, I'll show you later, you want basically the bottom of the plunger to eventually be flush with that bottom line. So you want a little bit of leeway room to go through the needle when, once we get there. And then take the Botox off, Put the cap back on and then you take off the large gauge needle and put on a 30 gauge needle okay and there you have one ml of Botox ready to go when you do start to use these needles make sure all the bubbles are out of there and then that one you want to get the plunger flush to the bottom and that's usually just enough 
to what you need. And then you put the cap on and so that one's ready to go. So we're going to do the same thing. Essentially we do that same process four times total. So you're going to put your large gauge needle back onto the next 1M L syringe. You're going to go back to that first vial of the Botox, insert it, and again you're going to draw it down all the way down. getting the bubbles out periodically do that all the way and then again take it just below the one there and then you're going to take the Botox off again you're going to put the cap back on you're going to put that down and you're going to take your next 30 gauge needle, put that on. You have another Botox that's two. We're going to do the third one. Again, you put this 18 gauge back on. And you're going to go to the next Botox vial. You want to shake it up a little bit too before you do this just to get the Botox particles spread throughout the fluid there. Uh, so again, we're going to insert that just to the inside of the vial, withdraw, draw down to just below that one, get the bubbles out of there. You want to get all those bubbles out ahead of time. You don't want to end up with these bubbles when you're done and by the time you get them out you lose a, you know, a significant portion of the Botox. Again, we're going to go right below the one. You can see that you're below that one actually. And then you're going to withdraw your Botox. Put your needle on here. Okay, so you have a third syringe of Botox and then you're going to go to the last one and again we're going to go throw that large needle on and you're going to draw it down here okay and below the one and then you're going to take that Botox off you're going to put the cap back on and you're going to put your final 30 gauge needle back on half inch 30 gauge so that will give you four vials of Botox each one of the needles since you've gone a little bit below the one there when you take off the cap make sure all the bubbles are out and then you push this up and as you can see a little bit of drop of fluid came out just as you hit the plunger to the very bottom where it says one uh, and so you have the perfect amount of Botox doing that way you can view the other videos of the actual procedure of the Botox uh, there's going to be a subsequent video that I'll post up uh, but I just wanted to make sure that you had the basics of how to drop the Botox and making sure you had the right amount in there. Um, so hopefully that helps. Thanks. Bye.